Hello guys, I'm welcome to the first episode of FIFA 22 Road to Glory series and this is actually the first time I'm doing a series and I'm quite excited about this. So, I'm playing this on PS4 Slim, not on Pro or PS5 because I'm telling you this because a lot of people have asked questions on the last video I have dropped like whether it is a PS4 Pro or PS5 because the graphics look so much better even on the old generation. So, they got confused whether it's a PS5 or any other console. So, yeah, I'm playing this on PS4 Slim not on any new generation consoles so with that being said let's get back to the ultimate team menu and select our first nationality team so here we have like 9 teams available so out of it i'm going to go with brazil not just because i want to play with the brazilian team in the starting because there's a thing called budget which i don't have in the starting obviously so but just because for the sbc purpose because we all know the brazilian players are more expensive when it comes to the sbc so let's start with brazil so this is the team that I have got after selecting Brazil as my national team. So obviously I'm not going to play with this team in any of the format. But after that I will be selecting my lone player and here we have like Coman, Carrasco, Everton, Gordon and Rashford. So I will be going with Coman of I think yeah Coman is a better option in these cases. So yeah Coman. So guys now I think we have to go through some basic things like the club kits and club badge and after that we will be ready to receive our first rewards and that is going to be the welcome rewards. And I think that's going to be quite exciting because that's going to give a huge boost to the team. So let's get into it. So these are the packs that I was talking about actually. So here we have a Bezo Lone Player Pack, Gold Player Pack and then a Coin Boost of 1500 for 10 matches. And these are the only packs that I care about. Others I don't care much about because all others are like a kit and a Stadium Starter Pack which, of, which is of no use I think. So now I will open these packs one by one and first I will be going with the ambassador loan player pack. So let's see what we have here. Here we have like Alba, Son and Foden. And obviously I'm going to go with Son. Uh, I think Son is the only thing I'm seeing here because other thing I can buy. Foden I can buy. Alba I can buy. But Son is like more expensive. So I will be going with Son here. And next now we have the base second player pick reward and let's see what we have here. We have Pele, Cryo, Puskas and I think I will be going with Pele. I think it's a better option out of these three. So that being settled, now let's move to the other rewards that we have. So here we have like a gold player feed, 80 player rare pack. And out of these packs we were managed to get Calvert Lewin and Karras Pale. Both of them are very good players. Obviously not going to play them together because we have to look into the chemistry as well. But yeah, in the starting it's a good uh, start. Uh, because Gareth Bale and Calvertin both are good players, so let's see. So now only one pack left, that is the team of the week player pack and let's see what we have got here. So let's open it and hope for something better this time. Hope for something useful that we can use in the team. So here we have a striker, Snagel player and that is the yellow. So obviously not going to use him in the team, but yeah, he will be very useful in the SBCs. Here we have a Mbappé lone player and then a Benzo lone player item. So here is a Alba, Son and Foden. Son is already owned, so I will be going with Foden this time because Foden is a good midfielder. Uh, he is very good in the midfield. So yeah, obviously going with Foden here. So we have like 4600 FIFA points here and because we have bought the ultimate edition of the game, so we are going to open a lot of packs today and one pack was like 150 FIFA points so let's hope for some walkout but but you know it I know it because that's not going to happen so if not a walkout then a decent card will do a job as well because in the starting a decent team will also work in the rivals or squad battles also so let's hope for something good so let's open our first pack here and let's see what we have got here so let's hope for something good that we can actually use in the team so let's see it's not a walkout, uh, it's an attacking midfielder, Mar Loss from Galatasaray. So obviously I'm not going to use him in the team actually. But yeah, as you can see the first pack is not very useful. So I will be showing only the decent card that I will be receiving from the packs. So let's try another one. So after opening few packs I finally got a chance to you know get my hand on something decent that I can use in the team. So that is left back Gaia from Valencia and I think I can use him in the team. So it's a better player than the previous that we have packed so let's try to pack another decent card here after opening all the packs spending all 4600 FIFA points this is the team that we managed to get and I don't think so it's a good team but we can still play with this team and get some wins here uh, for, uh, in the starting we have Morales I think he can do well in the starting of the game 
and left back uh, we have Gaya and the center back we have Araujo and Langley so, and the goalkeeper is Bravo and I think these are decent ones so I think we can play with this one so let's play some rivals matches here so this is my second rivals match the first one I won and the second as you can see I am already 2-0 up thanks to Morales and now a third goal by Morales in an open play he rushed the goalkeeper and that, I don't think that's necessary so Morales gets a clear chance to the goal and I'm already 3 nil up and on the 32nd minute we were able to create a great attack a lofted ball by Morales to Moreno uh, the Moreno speed is very good and then a pass to Morales and I don't know how he saved that because it's a clear opportunity for Morales but still the goalkeepers here are too good and on the 36th minute uh, I was able to penetrate his defense using Langley and I don't know what Langley was doing here but a great shoot by Langley and it's already 4-0 up guys with the help of Langley I don't think <laughs> I will be using Langley the center back from now on and on the 39th minute a direct pass by Tapia and a fake turn by Suarez and Suarez is a goal it's a 5-0 guys and I think it's a game done <laughs> this game is done actually so after 5 nil he did the rage quit maybe after the Langley goal because I was also not expecting that we will, part the, we will pass the defense with the Langley so we are through to the rank 1 or division 10 and let's play some more games and try to win those and try to push to more higher divisions this guy is our third opponent and he is using Melon as a striker Bellingham left back is skilled so that's all the players I know all of that I don't know and we will try to win this also and one more thing i want to talk about is that the user interface of fifa 22 on old generation respectively on ps4 is very slow uh, sometimes it feels shaggy so let's see but uh, let's see and try to win this game so in the fourth minute he scored using a corner and a guy was unable to mark the player and Tustingham was doing nothing he was just standing there so we are already one nil down in the starting of the game and in the 8th minute a through ball by Juan Mit to Morales and Morales is through and he is 1-on-1 one -one with the goalkeeper and a power shoot and a 1-1 one -one we are back on in the game guys and on the 13th minute a pass from Suarez to Bale Bale to Morales and he moved his defender that creates space and now we are 1-on-1 one -one with the keeper again shoot goal to 1-up and on the 38th minute I got sloppy with the ball and lost the position in my half that resulted in an equalizer and as you can see most of the goals that you are going to consider in this game is because you are going to lose the position in your half and that is, that is the only thing that most of the people concede goal like I did so make sure to keep position don't lose position in your half especially so in the 53rd minute he again made the mistake of moving his defender forward and a shoot from Mourinho goal so as you can see 50% of your goal that you consider is because of this mistake you draw your uh, defender forward and that creates space for your opponent and that will be give him a clear chance as you can see here I did the same mistake and a clear opportunity for him but somehow Bravo saved it so yeah if you stop doing this mistake you will stop considering like 50% of the goals here in the 86 minute we put the game to end by scoring a tap in from Morales it was an easy goal as the Pepe was so fast in the right wing he created a good chance for Morales and a goal 4-2 so the game ended 4-2 and we won our like 3 out of 3 matches and we are through to the division 9 as you can see here we got a winning streak here and that's it for today guys if you enjoy the video make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon button and I will see you soon on the next video